Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Thomas Clan. Today is a very special episode. What we're going to be doing is working on uh, stratifying seeds. So for those of you who don't know what stratification is, um, is the act of seeds going through a cold period and then warming up before sprouting. A lot of seeds actually have to go through this. Anything that would be deemed a perennial actually has to have some sort of a stratification period. Now, a lot of us are lucky enough to get seeds that are pre-stratified when we get them uh, uh, from the store. But I'm going to, to do some stratification anyway, just so you guys can see how it's done. Uh, now, this is actually something that I've seen a couple of other gardeners do. Um, this method here is not something that's original to me. It's just something I'm actually kind of copying, but it seems to work for all of them. So it should work for us. So let's go over the varieties that we're going to be uh, planting today. So the first one is Mary Washington asparagus. Um, so this is one of the ones that's going to be for the um, up for the cabins, the cabin uh, garden. And then we're also doing Victoria rhubarb, another one for the cabin. I don't have my strawberry seeds, so we're not doing that today, but we are going to do uh, rosemary. Now, rosemary, as you can see, is a tender perennial, meaning it can be killed. It is not necessarily going to make it through a winter. Um, now, where we live, we do get some pretty harsh winter, so it might die, but that's okay. I like to move things around anyway. Um, but that is one of, the, one of the things that will be going uh, into the lodge garden. So... The way to stratify the seeds, I'll just do the one that's in the middle here. So, Victoria rhubarb. So, you take a um, plastic bag and you take a paper towel, which I just folded into cores and put inside. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some water in there. Now, you want to make sure you don't do too much. Uh, a couple of people who I've watched do this on YouTube or read articles about, they'll pour in some water, give it a couple of seconds, and then dump out the excess, um, which you can do that, but what happens is you risk having uh, too much water, and if you've seen the onion video, uh, you know that uh, that can be a problem. Um, it can actually well, kill the seed, for lack of a better term. So you, what you want to make sure is that there's enough water to cover the entire um, paper towel but not so much that you'll have spots that are soaked now so the way to do this is to pour in the water a little bit at a time and have it where it is spreading them on the paper towel but not covering the paper towel completely so I'm going to kind of show you how how I'm doing that so I just have a bowl that I you know poured some water into I'm actually going to spoon the water which might sound a little bit weird um, but by doing this it's going to allow the water to uh, uh, spread out more evenly. Um, so I'm going to hold this up pretty close so we can try to see like the action of what the um, the what the papers uh, the paper towels are actually doing. Um, so if if you look closely, you can see the water like spreading onto the dry part of the paper towel very very slowly and so what that is doing is, is that's that's ensuring that there isn't too much water um, so that means it should be just enough for the seeds to sprout so what we're going to do now we're just going to open our seed packet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dry spoon now and I'm going to pour some seeds into it. I'm going to spread the seeds out onto the paper and basically it's going to be a by the way for uh, for those of you at home who's never seen a rhubarb uh, seed let me put this on here that's uh, that's what oh that's what it looks like there it's kind of flaky um, Kind of cool looking actually. Um, so for rhubarb, we don't need, we only need, I dropped them. So I'm just getting them back on the spoon. So we're, we're only going to need uh, four plants up at the cabin for rhubarb. But perennials tend to not have 
as high of germination rates as others do, uh, as other seeds do. So I'm planting a lot of extra ones. Well, that's okay. Just to make sure I get four really, really good plants out into the ground. And one thing that you're kind of seeing me doing when I'm picking at is I'm trying to spread the seeds out, make sure that they're not touching too much. Um, so that way they don't rot. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to also do this exact same thing for both the rosemary and the asparagus. And then I'm going to, you know, uh, kind of push out all the excess air. There needs to be a little bit of air in there, but you don't want too much because you don't want the seeds to, to have too many issues. Um, so I'm just going to put this off to the side like this. As you can see, there's like a little bit of bubbling. So there is some air in there. And we're going to put these literally in the back of the fridge, and we're going to let them sit. Now, things like asparagus and rhubarb need a longer stratification time, like it's supposed to be about four to six weeks. So what we're doing here is, is we're, stra we're going to stratify them for four weeks, and then we're going to uh, um, pull them out, put them in a warm place so we can hopefully get them to sprout once they sprout. We'll, we'll get them right into soil, and um, at the end of May, when we go up and get our, our cabin garden together, we'll be able to put them right into the ground there. The rosemary, we're only going to stratify, stratify for about three weeks. Then we're going to take them out, let them sprout, and actually get them started. And then sometime in May, um, when it's moon favorable, we'll get them planted in the lodge garden. So let me get the rest of that done, and we'll be back. And we'll be back with you in, uh, in a little bit. Okay, so uh, we're all done with what we're uh, starting today. So these are the asparagus seeds, little black circles that look kind of like rabbit droppings. And then you have the rhubarb, which uh, we just saw a moment ago. And these are the rosemary seeds. Wait, focus. There we go. So, uh, yeah, those are what the rosemary seeds look like. So we're going to put these in the back of the fridge, get them to stratify, and uh, we'll see them again in a month. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, give us a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell for the notifications. Follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.